Hi, welcome to this knowledge clip about Dutch cycling. My name is Thijer Goris from DTV Capacity Building in the Netherlands. The famous Dutch Crow Bike Design Manual talks about five design principles for bicycle infrastructure. Cohesion, directness, safety, comfort and attractiveness. In the next minutes, I will introduce the directness principle. Directness means offering the cyclist as direct a route as possible, with detours kept to a minimum. Why is this principle relevant? Because the bicycle is human powered and we do not want to waste energy on detours. And because we want fast connections and minimize delays as much as possible in order to make the bicycle a competitive transport mode. Planning for directness is about distance and time. So, planning short and fast routes. Shall we take a closer look on how this works? First, about distance. Short routes between origins and destinations can be created at the network level by providing a connected and sufficiently dense bicycle network. The so-called detour factor can be used to assess the directness. We take the distance as the crow flies as reference and compare the actual distance on the road to the reference. For the principal bicycle network, the minimum ambition should be to having an average detour factor of about 1.20. For other parts of the network, 1.30 to 1.40 is acceptable. Secondly, about time. Reducing journey time is possible by creating routes without delays. For example, by using measures such as one-way streets for cars that allow contraflow for cyclists, and by creating routes that may exclusively be used by cyclists and pedestrians. Designing for directness at the section level means to avoid bendiness as much as possible. In practice, deviations often occur. Delays could be reduced by giving right-of-way for cyclists, priority or more green time for cyclists at traffic lights. Reducing these delays contributes to the directness at the intersection level and consequently to the directness of the network. Planners who apply this principle may reduce cyclists' average commuting time and as such promoting bicycle use. Especially in congested urban areas, the bicycle proves a competitive alternative to the car in terms of journey time. In this clip I have focused on one of the design principles for bicycle infrastructure, directness. The key advantage of the design principles is the transferability. Whether you are in Europe, the Americas, Africa, Asia, down under or elsewhere, whether you are a starting, climbing or champion cycling culture, these design principles apply to each situation. And applying the design principles leads to safe and successful bicycle infrastructure.